Kel Stuffchest, one of the foundational aspects of predicting the future is knowing that most technologies tend to move in an exponential, predictable pace. Anytime a technology has information at its core, it moves in an exponential rate. The most famous of these exponentials, of course, is, is Moore's Law, which was coined by Gordon Moore, one of the co-founders of Intel back in the 60s. And it basically says that every 18 months, the transistors on a CPU double, and thus the price halves. But the most interesting thing is that these exponentials apply to so many other technologies, things like solar, things like um, storage capacity on chips, things like internet speeds, things like the human genome. And while Moore's Law is expected to end within the next decade because we can't tra uh, shrink transistors anymore, we'll move into like 3D computing and like uh, quantum computing, and so the exponential itself will keep going. But what's also inherent in these exponential graphs uh, of technologies is that they all follow S-curves. So Moore's Law is only the fifth paradigm of computing. Before that you had like um, vacuum tubes and all that other stuff. So for example, if you look at the exponential curve for internet speeds, you'll see it start off with like dial-up, and that was like a little S-curve, and then you have broadband, and then you had uh, uh, fiber. And so together they form an exponential. So accessing these exponential graphs is very important for predicting the future because we, as humans we tend to think very linearly and, and that affects our ability to see the future because technology is moving exponentially. So the common analogy is if, uh, say you walk 30 metres and you walk 1 metre per step. If you do that in a linear fashion, obviously you walk 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 metres and you get to 30 after 30 steps, yeah? But if you walk 30 steps in an exponential fashion, like, you know, like 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, you've now walked a billion metres, which is 26 times around the Earth. But since our brains are incapable of thinking exponentially, it's very hard for us to know where technology is going or to even imagine where it's going or, you know, realize the scale and the vastness and the speed at which it's moving. So often in a lot of online arguments, I'm constantly trying to find these graphs to prove my point. Uh, things like uh, solar power. So solar power is an exponential technology. It's seven doublings away from being 100%, which means 12 years. Typically, these exponential graphs are uh, tracked and kind of made by teams employed by futurists like Ray Kurzweil and Peter Diamandis and groups like the Singularity University. But it'd be great to pull all these graphs together into one place. So that with a few clicks you'll be able to see exactly which type of technologies are on an exponential pace, where they've gone, and where they're going you know, in the next 5, 10, 20, 50 years, 100 years even. Because that's the whole point with these exponentials being so predictable. So with Moore's Law, for example, you can work out that I think roughly around 2022, for $1,000, you'll be able to buy the computational power equivalent to the human brain. I think along with these graphs too, it'd be great to have some kind of like a uh, life planning, life goal thing where you compare what you want to work on to exponential technology so you're not wasting any time. So you want to make a huge impact, change the world and improve the lives of a billion people, by necessity you have to leverage exponential technologies. So you need to know which technologies are exponential and which ones will best help you achieve your goals. You want to know which technologies are exponential, which are in that disruptive stage, uh, so you can accurately pair yourself to it and align your companies and your goals to ride that wave. So what do you reckon? Does that sound useful? Um, and how can we improve this? How can we encourage more people to understand what technologies are exponential and how to leverage them? And who wants to help build this site? Snap your thoughts, iFuture. They know what is what, but they don't know what is what. They just struck. What the fuck? They know what is what, but they don't know.